Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Julie and Milo show. My name is Julie. I'm coming to you from Newport Coast, California. My dear friend Milo. Milo, could you please say hello? Hey, how you guys doing? Milo from Nashville. Thank you, Milo. Today is February 1st. It's really starting a very, very hot month in on passive. Yes. It is such a wonderful and blessings time for you, Milo, for myself, and for our guests, and for many people, a few hundred thousand, I would say half of a million people in the world are excited about what On Passive is all about. And On Passive has started it with Mr. Ash Mufarik, who has a brain of a genius and a heart of gold. Everyone who knows Ash know that his heart is pure and his heart is focusing on um, changing the humanity, changing the way we live, to changing the way how we live, just based on the love and the unity that he's giving us. Every single time we're on with Ash, our heart and our mind are expanded. And yes, behind on passive, as a community of people, we are connecting together. We share the same vision. And yes, Milo, I'm so excited that we have a guest here with us today to share his story. Milo, could you please um, introduce our guest? Absolutely. Thank you, Julie. And uh, we, uh, we're excited to have this founder with us. We don't know a lot about him, but we're going to learn about him. And that's what's so unique about this show and why I love this show, because we get to meet people from all over the world. And today is no different. I'd like to bring out Narayan Pokrell. Come on out, Narayan. Hey, hey welcome to the show. Namaste. Uh, Namaste. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Milo and Julia. All right. Well, hey, uh, Ryan, we don't know a whole lot about you, but we want to find out a little about you today. And uh, this is what this show is all about, is introducing other founders to other founders, and and you're building a legacy. That's the thing we, we tell people, hey, you're, you're on a show that uh, down the road when this company becomes big, you know, huge, you can say, I was there when it started, you know. But Let's start right at the beginning. Tell us a little about yourself. Where were you born, your siblings you have, your mom and dad, and your family now? Give us a little history of that. Sure, Milo. Uh, I was born in a small country, Bhutan, a Himalayan country, which is in Asia, between India and China. It's a beautiful country. I grew up there. I had my education up to great eighth, that means level eight in that country. And uh, I have uh, three siblings, including me, me, my brother and my sister and my dad and mom. And I have now a beautiful wife and I had three kids, but in 2018, my big son passed away. He was 19 years old and I have now one daughter and one son who are attending college here in USA and in um, son in high school. Awesome. Thank you so much, Naran. Um, thank you for trusting Julie and Milo show to be here to share your story. Yes, it is such a safe place to do, uh, to share your story. Uh, and uh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, but I know that you do have two blessings um, in your household right now, which is the two children that you have. I know you've done so much in your life. Um, there are some things that you told us on our biography, but I'd like you to share with the viewer, what are the interesting things that you've done in your life? Um, Julia, a lot of things we did, but some remarkable things after I came here in the United States. Uh, I did a lot of social work for the people who came here uh, as uh, they have settled in third, uh, country settlement. So we were a little unknown about this and I had them a lot of things from where 
I learned myself to begin a business. And right now I am in that good position running a business with my uncle and my brother. So there are a lot of, lot of experiences back in uh, Bhutan. We have spent a village life. So my father was a farmer there. So we had, a, we had done a lot of social works in that place also to help the people uh, in one way or other. So especially my remarkable thing is I did when I came here in the United States, helping people with heart. Oh, that's wow. awesome. Love the, love the helping people with heart, man. And that's what the uh, own passive is about. But uh, I, I read through your bios and I see that you were born uh, there, but in mm -hmm. 1992, you moved to Nepal uh, and you lived there as a rep refugee for a while. Uh, can you tell us a little about that? Sure, Myla. Uh, I was in a high school in, in Bhutan, in northern part, of the northeast part of Bhutan. Um, in the southern part where we were living, there was uh, some, uh, what I say, misunderstanding or people, they are demanding for the democracy in the southern part where our uh, Nepali people are living, which we call Lochambas there. And uh, the people voice, they raise the voice for the equality, democracy and all. And I was small, I don't know all the story, but I, I read uh, this story later on when I came back to the refugee camp. And maybe because of minority, minority or because of uh, not good knowledge of what we need to ask for the government, so we were forced to leave the country and uh, we came to Nepal and there was, a, there was no place for us to leave, but the government of Nepal, they uh, provided us uh, certain places and we lived in a refugee camp for about 22 years. We were helped by the United Nation, uh, the sister organization, organizations for schools, hospitals and for other uh, the fooding and all, we were helped for all those years. And finally, uh, the different countries in the world, I think they, they have made a plan to settle us in uh, different part of the country, different part in the world. So uh, we were welcomed by seven eight, seven, eight countries in the world to resettled. So in Nepal, we lived, uh, for how long? 22 years, yes. And uh, that was how we became a refugee. But like, lucky, we got a chance to come here, United States. Awesome. And uh, we came in 2010 and a lot of my friends are uh, in Australia, in Canada, Netherlands, the Netherlands, Norway, Denmark, UK. We are all over the world now. We are family, we know each other, we talk each other, we share this, everything, each other. And um, we are lucky. We got a chance to be here in a beautiful country, land of opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I love that, uh, that you love this country because I do too. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really a land of opportunity. And, and so in your bio, you said that you have been um, as a social worker, and then you took the experience from being a social worker to help people, but you took the experience you learned from there to start a business with um, your brother and your uncle. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, when we came in 2010, I came in 2010, my brother came in 2009. And when we came here, at the beginning, it was very hard to get adjusted with the place, with the people, new friends, uh, new laws of the country. Everything was new for us. Mm -hmm. And being little educated, little more educated than other who like comparatively. So we need to find out the ways how to settle our families, friends uh, here in uh, United States. So I got a chance to be in Scranton, Pennsylvania and we try to find out the different ways how we can help the families to get settled. 
And um, on the way, our seniors, they were very uh, hard to live and they have a lot of problem and we have to find a way to get them help. In the due course of time, we came to know that there is a program, waiver program in the, in the, United, in the country. So for, through, from where we can help them. So I, start, I started applying uh, for the program and those uh, families or seniors, they got approved. Then after that, uh, we know how to get the employees to work for them. And um, we, we got those experience. And in a few, after two, three years, then I talked to them with my brother, my uncle that, why don't we do ourselves and help the families? Then we find out a way and then we register our business uh, in Pennsylvania and first in Missouri, then in Pennsylvania. So after that, we, we started helping uh, hiring friends, uh, whoever are interested and we are sending to take care of seniors. And we have a business in Missouri and in Pennsylvania. In Missouri, my uncle Prasad Ital is taking care. And in Pennsylvania, me and my brother, my brother lives in Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. And I live in Scranton. So like that, we got an experience working as a social worker at the beginning. And we had a we had a form a community also as a Bhutanese community of Scranton that we were like, uh, some of us were, were in advisory board, some of were the uh, members. And my brother was the president of the board. So through that way also, we, we helped the families here in, uh, in Scranton. So learning from getting experience, working those activities, we landed up forming a, a race running a company. So we started running. Uh, it's not too big, but it's okay for us to live. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. Uh, okay. I, I read through your hobbies and I see you like to watch TV, hiking, soccer, and reading. And just real quick, tell me the, your two favorite books. Especially, I love to read the Nepali writer's book, like Nepali literature and all. Okay, gotcha. So you've done a lot of things in life. You've a uh, businessman as well. And um, there's an opportunity that came in onto On Passive. So tell us a little bit about On Passive. When did you start On Passive? And uh, why do you, you like On Passive? Uh, Julia, this I'm Hindu. Even then, this is my Christmas gift. My uncle, on December twenty fifth, two thousand twenty, a month ago, just 35, 30, 35, 36 days back, he said about this on on passive to me. At first, as I I'm hearing about Milo, he was a spectacle at first. Like same, I was also. I didn't believe because a lot of people, they come with the multi-level marketing uh, MLM businesses, which are, which are too much headache for people like us who don't want to do it. And my uncle, he said to me, and just to please him, I just told my wife will join. Just for wife, I just, I want to please him. But what happened the next day, on the evening, I started looking videos and I'm, I'm digging a little more about it. What is that? And luckily I, I, I saw the video of as uh, CEO founder as Mafare, uh, which was really positive one. And it's, I, I catch up one word. This is a digital product. And one day we will be on top of Mount Everest, which is in Nepal. <laughs> and he said, one day means it's not too far. We are very near. I was really excited. And then it was luckily that it was holiday. That was 25th and 26th was Saturday and 27th was Sunday. So all three days we, we got a chance to stay home. So on 26th, I, I said uncle to join my wife, but on 26th morning, I called my uncle and I said, uncle is in Bhutan right now. He is there. And he said from there. And I told uncle, I want to join it. And you joined me and my daughter and my son too. <laughs> we are four in family. I asked all to join. Then I started looking at it. What is that? And I'm going inside. I really, it was really interesting. The interesting is that 
as Mafari, the CEO founder is coming with some good vision and his, he, I like his mission. And I shared with my few of my friends, 10 friends to get their feedback. I got seven yeah and three nah. I said, okay, seven yeah means something good. Then I talked for next day, that is Sunday, I talked to them frequently and they said that is really nice because they were also off. Otherwise they would not see because people do not have time to see. So they were off and they said, yes, this is something good. So I started telling my friends and I, I, I entered like this, but I was really interested to see inside what is going on. What is this? So I learned a lot of things. I did not miss any videos, uh, Julia and Milo so, and uh, uh, Michael, Michael Williams video and Mike Ellis, uh, what is the uh, New York, uh, what is his name? Marty, Marty, Marty and Gano. Marty and yes. And then, and then I called uh, Susie McCray and Dr. Dr. Bill William. Dr. No, Dr. Uh, he is uh, Dr. Id Modi, Dr. Modi from India. I call him and I started telling, okay, come on, help me. I need to tell my all my friends, they should know about it. So we, we, we had two or three Zooms so far. And uh, like that, I entered in it. And right now we are in good place. A lot of friends are knowing about it, joining. That's awesome. fantastic. That's, that's great, man. And, and, and so I was listening to you. Number one, I, I think that I like to say this every show is uh, that I think on passive is changing the world one person at a time. And it started with Ash Mafaro, you know, and even though we came in and we all was wondering about making the money, it seems like that now our thoughts have moved from making the money because we know that's a done deal that it's going to happen. Now it seems like the founders are working with their mind and their heart and realizing that they're going to be living in abundance and they're going to be able to give back to other people, you know, uh, present, you know, help other people out. And uh, so I heard you say before that you like to help people out when you come over here. So how is Own Passive going to help you in that aspect? How are you going to be able to help other people? Um. First of all, in this right now, this context, we need to say to the people to know about it. Just we have heard 34, 35 days back. So for some of them who are waiting for a long time to get it launched, maybe they are very eager to see it soon. But for us, it is it will be too early. But I should not say like that uh, because friends are waiting from long time. In this period, in this uh, 34, 35 days period, we we are working in a team. We are working, uh, helping each other. So about 900 friends, they join. And everyone, everyone has a mission, vision uh, to be successful. And from my perspective, from my side, uh, I have created two accounts. We are allowed to do that one. Everybody's allowed to create as many accounts as they want, as they afford. I have two. One account is only for my charity. And my one account will be donated where I see the problem, um, especially in Asian country where I came back. I love the people uh, who are in Nepal, who are in Bhutan. And I should not forget to tell that my mom is from India. So I am I am uh, half Indian, half Bhutanese, uh, and my forefathers were from Nepal. So we are connected, interconnected with these three countries. So. My mission, my thought is to help the people, poor people there, if this goes successful, not if this goes, it will go successful, it will be successful. So, so my one of the account will be for that purpose. And especially, I was a teacher back in Nepal when I was a refugee. refugee. I taught in the camp and I taught outside, uh, outside means uh, not in the camp, uh, in Nepal. So I know the school. I know how, how, how much help they need. What are the situation of the kids there? So some of my friends, they, they have worked in health sector. So their, their eyes will go, go towards the health sector. Uh, my eyes are going toward the education sector because I came from that background. So Milo, really 
uh, this uh, on passive, which is really coming as a as a wave in the world, as Mufares says that we will control the digital world. So I am really optimistic that it will happen. So the thing what I get from my one of my account will be um, will be shared to people of those countries for especially for the education sector. I'll do that. And another thing that I need I should add it, add is as much as I afford, I have added, I have helped few of my families back in those countries, India, Nepal, uh, to enroll from my side, how much I can do it. So I want if I if I help one family from that, four or five families will be helped. I know about that. The income, what what it is getting and how much it is equivalent to Nepali rupee, Nepali rupiah and Indian rupees or Bhutan currency. So the small thing here is a big thing there. So uh, there are a lot of ways to help. So I have I have diff I have different thing. I have different thinking. Let me see how it goes. I hope I'm optimistic. It will be all right. Absolutely, you know, and and I I agree with uh, that way too. I, I did the same thing where I buy some accounts. Now I'm not going to actually give the account to someone. I'm just going to use it to fund other people. So in other words, if I got one set up for homeless, which I do, you know, I'll take the money coming into that one and buy homeless people places in the spot because that expands that tree. You know, that expands gives you more people in the thing that that actually makes your bucket become bigger that you can give more back you know that's the beautiful thing of this you know but uh, uh i look at it it looks like we're we're getting low on time so i'm gonna hand it over to julie and and let her uh take us out of here maybe ask you another question or two go ahead julie thank you milo narayan i know that you um are very active right now sharing with other people and I know that there are other peoples out there that are actually still on the fans or in on passive, but hasn't really done what you have done so far. So tell us uh, your word of wisdom to these people by actually waiting on the fans right now. What would you tell them? Uh, I want to tell my friends that everywhere in the world, whatever we think there are rigs, get out from the rigs, get out of that uh, spectacle spectacle thinking and try getting in. Here is some, there is some gym, try to understand. If, if on passive doesn't click your brain, nothing will click, nothing will click. So I, that. I, I unless and until if you do not see the product what they are inside, if you do not see what is on passive, you will not know anything. I'm really thankful that this on passive, after, after I started knowing about that, I started looking inside the digital world. And I, really, I think that I have done a graduation from there in this one month time, a lot of things we can learn. So I want to urge, I want to tell my friends, families who are still up, uh, not looking at it or still you have some doubt. So forget about that $97 is it is something, we should not say nothing, it is something, but it will not be whole, it will not help you for whole life. It is, it is for one day, $97 is one day if you go out. But here you, you, you have a lot of things coming. So forget about everything, learn about it. I don't want to tell you come and jump inside without learning. You have to be first satisfied. You have to be convinced what is this. So at least give an hour or two and learn about it and jump in it and you will see the beauty of it, beauty inside. And uh, in my, I just, I'm a Nepali speaking uh, citizen. Uh, let me not say citizen, I'm Nepal, my language is Nepali, okay? So I should say something to my friends in my own language so they will understand. And then- Absolutely, yes, go ahead. And then, and then uh, they may think in a different way. So let me start. Priya Satyaru, you unpassive one is Jun package on layer. You you hamily call pana gare banda dere 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 matiko kurasa. Uh see you founder S Mufarele 
जुन विजन र मिशन लिएर चाहिँ अ यो संसारमा आइरहनु भएको छ उहाँले साच्चै नै अ हार्ट उहाँको हार्ट चाहिँ अ लाइक मदर टेरेसाको जस्तो हार्ट लिएर आउनु भएको छ र हामीले वी शुड नट फरगेट हामीले बिर्सिनु हुँदैन ही इज एज पीस एज गौतम बुद्ध हु वाज बोर्न इन नेपाल सो ही इज ही इज वेरी 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 a uh, cool minded he is very nice guy and he wants to help the world ulle help help garne khojeko cha telle gara tapai haru ek chuti on patch la hernus bujhnus bujera aunus parivar la help garnus mala lagcha yo 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 hamile 97 dollar esma lagaera yo khera jane wala chaina ra kripaya sabai sathi har lai esma shamil hunus ra faida linus yadi tapai har lai man pardaina bhane tapai har le 97 dollar बैक लिन सकूँ इफ यू डोट लाइक इट आफ्टर यू जोइन यू कैन गेट द मनी रिफंड नाइन्टी सेवेन डलर सो देर देर आर लॉट अफ अप्सन यू कैन यूज द अप्सन दैट इफ यू डू नट बिलीव देर इज अप्सन सो फर्स्ट गेट इन जम्प इन इंजॉय इट Thank you. Thank you for beautiful words and beautiful language. I could I wish I could understand. Milo, do you have anything else to say or should I close the show? Close it down. It, this has been great, uh, around Very, very awesome talking to you, and I love your heart. Love uh, what you're doing. So take her away, Julie. Close it down. We're running out of time. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Yes, um, on passive is big. It, it is so big, so big that you can, cannot imagine. It is the restoration of the digital world and the financial world as well. So. Um, stop treating on passive it's a 97 dollar expenditure but it is your multi millions dollar business and by the way that quote is from my dear friend Milo yes stop treating this business as your 97 dollar expenditure but it is your multi millions dollars business so take the action become a founder get back to the person that shared this video with you and ask him or her to know a little bit more or just say i need your link i want to be a founder of on passive right now because the action that you take today would actually change your whole entire life okay for the better and your children's life and if you are an on passive founder and if you haven't done anything we are urge you to walk back into the office the back office and listen to the webinar on last Thursday that Ashmo for it did it will blow your mind i think that's enough said about how awesome it is thank you so much for joining the julie and milo show looking forward to see you the next time good night from newport coast california good night from scranton good night from nashville